What is going on everybody? It is me again, it's HorrorFan34, and welcome back to another video, and welcome to another entry into this series of videos, where this is going to be, once again, a response to Julie. Um, she came up with this idea, like I said before, in the other series, or the other entries in this series, so I know how to say it right, but uh, so far I've done A, B, C, D, and F, now it's getting on to the letter G, so... These are movies in my collection that begin with the letter G. Um, if, it, if you have not checked out Julie's channel, go check her out. Fantastic content. Uh, she's a really big supporter of me, Rob, Alex, and Dan on the Movie Busters live streams we do and things like that. She came up with this idea. It's been loads of fun and things like that. So let's get on to the movies that I have that start with G. So Julie, anybody who's watching, I know a lot of people have really enjoyed this series along with Julie, so if you haven't seen the other ones yet, anybody who hasn't seen them yet, go check those out, and hopefully you enjoy this one. So here we go. G.I. <clears throat> Jane. Criminally underrated movie. I love this movie. Galaxy Quest. The Game with Michael Douglas. Gangs in New York. The General's Daughter. Pretty underrated John Travolta film that not many people talk about. Get Carter, very underrated, fun Sylvester Stallone film. Of course, this is the remake of the, of the Michael Caine movie from the 70s, I think. Yeah, the 71 version. Michael Caine actually does have a role in this, so. But, very underrated movie, Get Carter, with Stallone. I love this one. Get Out. Of course, I showed this before when I did Letter D with Dreamcatcher, but Ghost Ship. Not a fan of this movie at all. Not a fan of either one of these movies, to be honest. But I got this for my buddy for years ago. He got it for like a dollar. He knew I liked collecting movies, so I figured, hey, you know, I'll take it. It's a nice gesture. But I like, you know, some of the actors in some of these movies, but honestly, I think Death Ship with George Kennedy was a better version of this. That's just me, though. But I'm not a fan of ghost shit. Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 comes in this two-pack DVD right here. Love both of those films. Ghosts of Mars for the John Carpenter collection. Fun flick, but certainly not up to par with his earlier films. But I still like it. <clears throat> Glass. This is the Blu-ray Steelbook. I do like Glass, but there's just things about the film I didn't care for. I didn't care for what they did with Bruce Willis' character, David Dunn. If you've seen the film, you know what I mean. But I feel like there's a lot of things in this film that could have been better. But overall, I do like the film. The Glass House, with Lily Sobieski, Diane Lane, and Stellan Skarsgård. Also have Bruce Dern in the film. The Glimmer Man, very underrated Steven Seagal film. I think him and Keaton Ivory Waynes did a, did a great job together. But I enjoyed The Glimmer Man. Directed by John Gray, which I don't know what he's directed since. Glory. I know this is a shout out to Alex, uh, his favorite war film of all time. It's hard to argue against that great flick, Glory. It's my third favorite behind Uncommon Valor and um, Casualties of War. <clears throat> Here's a really fun flick, Go. 
just look up the plot for this film. It's kind of hard to explain because there's a lot of like some plots that kind of merge together. But it's a really fun flick that takes place all in one night. Uh, you have Tay Diggs, William Fickner, Katie Holmes, Brecken Meyer, Jay Moore, Timothy Oliphant, Sarah Polly. Directed by Doug Lehman, who I know he's directed a lot of other stuff as well. But really fun flick. Go. I have it for the collection because I like collecting stuff that was like a dollar because I wanted to check out the features. But The Golden Child, love this movie. One of my personal favorite Eddie Murphy movies. <clears throat> Golden Eye, I probably say my favorite James Bond film, Golden Eye. <clears throat> Gone Girl. getting to the last of the first pile then we have one more pile a little small second pile but Good Burger Grave Encounters Good Will Hunting and The Goods Live Hard Sell Hard now we're on the small pile the second pile this is a double feature with Richard Pryor, but this is Greased Lightning, which I have actually never yet seen before. I love moving with Richard Pryor. It's my, one of my personal favorite Pryor films is moving, but I still have yet to see Greased Lightning, which is a film he did in, I believe, in 1977. Yeah, 77. Directed by Michael Schultz. Great Outdoors, one of my personal favorite John Candy flicks, also has Dan Aykroyd, directed by Howard Deutsch, who did The Replacements with Keanu Reeves, he also directed a lot of other stuff, but love The Great Outdoors. Groundhog Day. The Guardian with Kevin Costner and Ashton Kutcher. I almost forgot this. Directed by Andrew Davis. I almost forgot Andrew Davis directed this. And I think this was the last film he directed. I believe. Which is a, which is a shame. Um, of course, Andrew Davis dire uh, directed Under Siege, uh, The Fugitive, Code of Silence with Chuck Norris. Uh, I can't think about... I'm sure he's done other ones too, but I actually don't di didn't mind this film. I think it's a pretty decent flick. It's actually one of the few films I don't mind Ashton Kutcher in. And the last two that I have that start with the letter G go together: Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. So there you have it. That's all the films that I have that start with the letter G. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.